Ralph, are you ready? Doc is in place. Ralph, are you ready? Herzog starts the fight, and we are underway. Johnny Evelyn in the red gloves. Mauricio Alonso, the native of Sao Paulo, Brazil, in the blue gloves. Came to the U.S. in 2011. You can see Johnny Evelyn, that nice footwork in and out, just giving him little looks. He is a superior wrestler. His wrestling is outstanding, very tenacious. But got to consider, do I want to go to the ground with Mauricio Alonso, who's got a very good submission game? Obviously, Johnny says, I don't care. I'm taking it there. I see what you I'm listening. I'm with you. And Michael C. Williams just made Poslin's an official word. He said, if the boy says it, then it's real. Hashtag Poslin's here on the Bellator app and the zone from Pechanga Resort Casino. The real thing you're looking for here when you're seeing Mauricio Alonso change that angle, create that angle in here, and you're seeing Johnny Eblen just move himself, center himself back up. That's saying that he knows what's happening. He feels those attempts starting to come. He knows exactly where he's at and what he wants. Third fight inside the Bellator cage for the third degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Alonso with a long lineage with the Gracie family training out of the CSA gym, Combat Sports Academy. Kieran Fitzgibbons, the head coach, of course, there. Big body shots with that right hand by Johnny Eblen. Those you can only take for so long. That's why you saw Mauricio Alonso move from an open guard to a close guard, try to slow that progression down. One thing you'd want to see out of Johnny Eblen here is he's got to start to control his posture. You know you've got the pressure on him to keep him against the fence, and if you posture, those shots that you're able to throw are going to have just that much more power. He's 27 years old, born in Kansas City, a member of American Top Team, Mike Brown, Dean Thomas, Steve Mako, King Mo, all amongst those who coach Johnny Eblen. Coached for many years by James Krause at Glory MMA in Lee's Summit, Missouri. Obviously had some good people giving him some very good instruction. One, one of the things I want to bring up, Mo Lal, one of the highest fight IQs you will ever find. A guy that sees things, understands the game, and comes up with beautiful plans of how to attack an opponent that has a specific skill. Johnny's got some good training partners, too. Jorge Masvidal, Rafael Cavallo, amongst those who work out at American Top Team. And this is a good start for 5-0. and oh. Soldier boy, Johnny Evans. Oh uh, Johnny oh Evans, he, he's just a buzzsaw right now on top of Alonzo. Alonzo's trying to break that posture, trying to slow down the progression of what Johnny Abram is able to do, but these are some shots that are getting through. It can only take so much. All four of his finishes, John, have come in the first round. Well, he's trying to make the number five. He got right, that right. Right now. He still has a little bit of time. Mauricio's got a lot of skill off of his back. He understands how to try to control that posture, take it to a point where there's not a lot of power on the shots that are landing. Even is working against that. A lot going on right now. 22nd pro fight for Alonzo. He's only been stopped once. Good elbows. Alonzo looking to control the posture of the Missouri Tiger. Talked about John Evelyn having that mean streak, being aggressive, and he is. And you can see it in the way he's fighting. He does not care about what Mauricio Alonso brings in the submission game. He's basically saying, I'm going to take you down, I'm going to be on top, and I'm going to pound you soft from that position because I don't think that you have the skill to submit. Big hammer fist. 
Good start for Johnny Eplin. Second round, I really want to go to the ground. You go to the ground and go. Nothing's changed. I've seen it before. Did you make him feel old yet? <laughs> you have to ask Mauricio that. That's just not a fair question. No, it's not. Round two. Red gloves for Johnny Eplin. Blue gloves for Mauricio Alonso. Alonzo doing a nice job of moving away from that right hand and the power that it has. Move towards that, cause your problem, move away from it, you're taking steam off of it. Smart. Back in 2007, Alonzo moved from Sao Paulo to Curitiba to train with Anderson Silva. He was there for four years. He said it was a very tough time in his life. He didn't have any money. He basically lived at the gym. But to have the ability to train with a spider was worth the sacrifice in which he made. Alonzo trying to utilize those leg kicks to give Johnny a problem. There's takedown. Well timed on that kick, John. And the real question here is now that we're in the center of the cage, without the fence to cause any you know, difference as far as I can choose the side I want to go to, I can swing into things. Let's see if Alonzo is able to open up and try to attack Evelyn with a submission here. Missouri State Wrestling Champion, 87 career wins at Missouri. Johnny started wrestling at age four. I'm guessing he took round one. <laughs> I would think so, yes. I still leave it up to you, though. Well, I like that, but you know that. In fact, we're going to go that you gave him a 10-9. Wow. In that round, right? Unofficial. Nice job. Unofficial. <laughs> I like what I see. Thank you. You're learning me lots. <laughs> What you, one of the things that you know we talk about is you've got to open up that guard if you're gonna go for attack. Right, right. now, Alonzo opens it up, goes right back to the close, and when you're in that close guard, there is no submission attempts for you. You've got to open the guard to create the angles and the attacks needed. If you're in that close guard, you're basically locking that person down on top. Now you might not be getting hurt, but you're definitely not gonna be winning the fight. Deep in posturing, nice shots. Nothing big landing, but at least he's showing the judges, I am going after this guy. I am trying to finish this fight. See Alonzo trying to bring his arm across, trying to create an angle. He will just being comfortable in position, landing body shots, trying to posture now, bring more power. This is the old Mark Coleman ground and pound special. The Godfather. <laughs> Working within the guard. Mauricio Alonso, coached by Daniel Gracie for many years, started training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in 1997 with Kean Gracie, trained 11 years with him in Sao Paulo. 1997. I remember that year. <laughs> I remember that year too. Someone started. Understanding that this was a sport and wanted to be part of it. And someone's wife told me that it isn't Ryan Gracie. <laughs> look at look at how you've learned, right? R is H in Portuguese. Good grounded pound. Hammer fists. 
Ten seconds. The 27 year old looks good. Final round, buddy ready. Buddy ready. Fight. Red gloves for the Missouri Tiger. Saw Paulo Alonso in the blue gloves. Good shot to the body, nice change of levels. I think Alonzo realizes I'm behind this. I need to try to do something that's coming forward, trying to create a pressure on Johnny Eaglin. Darren Uenoyama, grappling coach at CSA. Soldier Boy possesses a heavy right hand. Let's see if he looks to unleash it here. There it is, right on cue. Didn't connect that time. Take down. in the position He's shown through the first two rounds that this is not you know, almost with a can opener trying to open the guard there but this is not a position he is feeling threatened in, in any way he believes that he can just start to open up and do damage but I'll give it to Alonzo he's done a very nice job of minimizing the amount of damage he's taken with a guy that's been on top of him for close to 10 minutes already and still not you know you don't see any kind of little swelling no marks so he's doing a good job of defending. Which is kind of validating the point that I made earlier. And you can see why Johnny's only been stopped once in 21 professional fights. Yeah, very good, very good defense. Able to, to, you know, he'll take a shot, but he's able to protect himself from taking that second, third shot. It's gonna hurt him. And so great use of his skill set, which is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he's just not in the position where he's able to get that submission against Johnny Evil. And Johnny, of course, as you've said before, wants to become the great, the next great Missouri wrestler to turn the corner and become a mixed martial arts champion. Back the head, and for the ear. Chandler T. Wood and Ben Askren. Not a bad trio. And some hammer fists. This is what happens when you cannot control the posture of your opponent. Alonzo going back to breaking that posture down, pulling Evelyn down on top of him to stop the amount of power he's able to generate with those hammer fists. Everyone looks at a hammer fist and they think, oh, it's just a hammer fist. A hammer fist hurts. You can bring a hammer fist down on someone with the use of gravity as hard as you can punch someone with a straight shot. Like the former heavyweight champion, the Hammer, yeah. from the Ohio State. The University. Ohio State. The Ohio State University. Mark Coleman. And the late Kevin Randleman, also great ground and pound, former heavyweight champion. Lost him way too young. And there's those hammer fists again. And when you when you utilize hammer fists, you you get the nickname the hammer or the nickname the smashing machine. <laughs> uh, the hammer was a great. That was a nice knee there yeah, inside nice. by Alonzo. He's trying to finish it off here. It hurt him. It did hurt him. Not that it stunned him to the point where he doesn't know where he's at, but he definitely felt it. Yep, he caught him. Got to be careful. 30 seconds remain. Got to make sure he keeps that arm to the outside. Sharp elbow from the bottom. 
But it appears it will be much too little, much too late for the 39-year-old. Nice posture. See that arm just in inside the leg. No danger of crossing anything. It's a high guard. Nothing there. This one goes the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go to your three judges at Kate's side. Your first, Luis Colbian, scores at 30-26, while judges Jackie Dinkin and Glenn Paulson both see it the same, 30-27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Johnny Soldier Boy Evelyn. 6-0 and overall, 2-0 and inside the Bellator cage for Soldier Boy. All right, let's take a look at our upcoming schedule. We travel to Milan, as we mentioned. Varga puts his title on the line. Manhoff in Bahadi.